guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is your general reading for the year 2015 and this is for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, just to quickly let you know how I do the these year ahead readings, I'll shuffle the cards off screen as usual and for, instead of picking them intuitively, I will pick the first 12 from the top. So one after the other, I'll lay them down to represent each month of the year. I will then section them off into three month, uh, into three month segments. So the first three cards that I pick will be January to March. The second set of three will be um, April through to June. The third set will be July through to September. And the fourth set of card that, cards that I've picked will be October through to December. I will then pick the 13th card from the top of the deck and this will be the card that will represent the overall gist of the reading, the overall energy for the year and the general advice that you probably need to adhere for uh, concerning this reading. Now finally this is a general reading okay I can't stress that enough to you guys this is not a personal reading so some of this reading will apply to some Aquarians to some it won't Certain months might apply to some of you, some of the months won't. All of the year may apply to all of you and some won't, okay? All of the year, sorry, might apply to some of you and some of it won't. That's why it's a general reading because it may apply to some and others it might not. Okay, so let me go ahead with this reading. Aquarius, I think the gist of this reading is kind of... Um, this is not a bad reading, but it's a reading where you have to learn lessons in 2015. The universe is asking you to learn a few lessons here. And it's asking you, the readings, the cards are saying to me that you need to kind of budge. If you want to get somewhere, or if you want to achieve something in 2015, or if you want something to materialise or manifest for you, then you have to kind of step out of what you were doing before and I think a lot of that is to do with kind of thought processes and thought patterns so you have to kind of move out of that in order to get what you want because in this reading it's suggested to me that for some of you guys you might be doing a certain thing a certain way and refusing to kind of change it up and therefore for some of you guys you might not be hitting what you want or getting what you want or you know manifesting whatever it is that you want into your life simply because you're refusing to do things a different way or step out of a comfort zone or um or look at something in a different way okay let me explain what i mean for between january and march 2015 we had to represent those three months one moment The Seven of Cups, the Devil, and the Four of Pentacles. So I think for some of you guys during January through to March 2015, there is a sense of um, maybe wishful thinking going on. Maybe this is something that's been happening since January, since 2014 or even before. This card represents illusions, choices, thinking carefully about options. Um, having an illusion of something, a fantasy of something, um, visualising something and wanting something to be a certain way but not essentially being realistic about it some of the time and it can also signify choices that you need to make and thinking carefully because this guy he's got a lot of choices to make but he's kind of in the shadow everything is very clear but him Okay, we suggest to me that this vision he has of what he wants is very, very clear. But he's not clear. He's kind of like a shadow. He's kind of like looking up and there's an illusion of this stuff in a way. But the illusion is very clear to him. But he doesn't really feel very clear. That's what this card suggests to me. There's a lot of choices there. But he's having, having difficulties making them. And everything, to me, it suggests that everything seems really glitzy and attractive to him. But because they're on clouds, to me, it doesn't seem like it's real. It doesn't seem like it's realistic. And I think for some of you guys, between January and March, it might be that you've got a lot of goals and you've got a lot of hopes and you've got a lot of dreams. But you're kind of held back from them. 
if that makes any sense. And I think for some of you guys, it might be you guys holding your back, yourself back from attaining them because you might feel bound by something. And it might be, to my mind, it might be a sense of negative thinking for some of you guys. This is not a negative reading, by the way, okay? It's a very positive one. Nothing in the tarot is negative. It's really there to teach us something, to guide us on something. We have the four of pentacles as well, and this guy is holding on to something, you know, for dear life. He's got something, and he doesn't want to let it go. So... To me, with these three cards, they really kind of suggested that you are kind of beholden to something, but this is something of your own choosing, and you're refusing to let go of it. To me, there is very kind of little movement in these cards. So I think between January and March, for some of you guys, it might be holding on to something, holding on to an idea, holding on to a way of doing things, and refusing kind of to budge on it. And kind of staying in that sphere of this is how things should be done or this is how I want things to be. And I'm refusing to kind of let go of that. I'm refusing to step out of my comfort zone. I'm refusing in a way to take a risk and step out of that. With this card, I'm refusing to kind of step out of the fantasy world or the fantasy that I've created of something. With this one being chained to something, I'm refusing to kind of let go of it. And staying there, being beholden to something. And again, this one, holding on to something. It could be through fear. It could be through a sense of not wanting to let go of something. But I think all these cards represent to me some type of fear going on. Some kind of holding on to something going on. And these, in January and March, I think these cards are saying you're going to need to let go about a little bit. You're going to need to let go of those reins on something a little bit and you're going to need to get a little bit more realistic about stuff because 2015 is a new year and it could be a brighter year for some of you guys and you really need to kind of let go of anything that's not serving you or anything that's not realistic enough you need to kind of come out of the comfort zone and get into the world that's what these three cards suggest to me anyway and between April and June, the cards here suggest to me, and they are the Five of Pentacles and the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. So we find that for some of you guys, it might be a case of that you're still kind of in that mentality of holding on to something through fear, through not wanting to kind of let go, through... Um, feeling what's the word i mean the five of pentacles would usually signify some form of financial loss or you know feeling out in the cold or feeling like a victim or just feeling that you're not a part of the world but with the high priestess it's saying it's time to cut through that illusion okay so i think that for the first three months, there is some form of illusion going on. There's some form of illusion that you're tied to something and that you can't step out of something in order to get something else. And I think this illusion carries on with the Five of Pentacles, that sense of feeling the victim, that sense of feeling out in the cold, that sense of feeling a little bit lost. But the, Queen, the High Priestess is saying it's time to kind of lift that veil now okay and see what's there whatever it is of that you that some of you guys might be afraid to look at it's time to look at it for what it is okay and with the queen of swords we start to find that some of you guys are starting to focus a little bit more okay and you're starting to become a little bit more realistic about your goals and your aims okay within those three months something turns the tide something kind of switches you and if it doesn't this card is really saying it's time to be a lot more realistic it's time to focus deeper it's time to lose the illusion the wishful thinking the castles in the sky it's time to be more realistic about your aims and your goals through july through to september there is a sense of a little bit of worry going on for you guys between 
July through to September with the Nine of Swords. Um, but this card, the Three of Wands, again is coming back with reinsurance and it's saying with careful planning and stepping out of your comfort zone and taking that risk and going on that adventure, you'll actually find that you'll achieve what it is that you want to achieve a lot faster, okay? Because up until now, a lot of you guys, some of you guys, should I say, within those first six months are still holding on to something. And it's only at the end of the first six months, um, during the March, um, sorry, during the June time, that some of you guys will be starting to realise, well, maybe my expectations were too high of something. Maybe I've not been realistic about something. Maybe I've been holding on to an idea or an illusion so tightly that I couldn't see what was right before my eyes or I couldn't see that if I was more realistic about something and more kind of logical about it that I'd be getting somewhere faster rather than taking all this time to get what it is that I want and I think certainly there is there will be little times where there is a little bit of a stress going on around something because usually when we're holding ourselves back or when we're letting the situation hold us back or where we're feeling kind of trapped or we're feeling kind of um that we can't come out of a comfort zone because of fear of the unknown that when we lift the veil and we get more realistic it suddenly dawns on us that there is something greater and bigger out there and there is something um and whilst there is wonderment at that thing that we didn't realise before, there is also that little bit of fear that comes along with it because we're not used to it, okay? We're used to doing things a certain way and when we start to do things and see things and think of things in a different way, there is excitement but there is still that little bit of fear which I think comes along with that. But the Three of Wands is really saying that, you know, you take it one step at a time, you plan it, you go on the adventure, you're an explorer, so plan it, plan what it is that you want to do. You know now within 2015 for some of you guys that you need to be a bit more realistic about your aims. So instead of creating these castles in the sky and st instead of being trapped to a negative way of thinking that if we lose those shackles there will be a little bit of fear because it's stepping into the unknown essentially. But it's a wonderful adventure that you're going on. It's a wonderful journey. And this card is telling you to step out of that comfort zone. This card is reinforcing what I've been saying for some of you guys might potentially be happening in the first six months. And we have the King of Wands. Again, he's learned from his mistakes to get where he wants to go. He's taken stock of the situation. He is noting his limitations. And once he noted his limitations, he um, was able to draw on his own insight in order to move forward. So I think for a lot of you guys, between the months of July through to September, you're going to be kind of looking at the situation and you're kind of looking back and saying, OK, those first six months, I did sort of keep myself in that comfort zone, but now I'm kind of over the initial little bit of worry, which it's, it's, I think is only a very small amount of time and there might be a little of anxiety there. But once you acknowledge that there is an adventure to go on and you're exploring, you're feeling excited about a direction that you want to take, that you'll be able to look back in hindsight and say, OK, this is where I essentially went wrong and now I'm going to be doing things in this way because this feels good to me and this feels right. And when you've accepted that there were limitations for some of you guys in staying in that comfort zone, that's when you're able to kind of make that move forward. And the final three months of the year, October through to um, December, we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Sun card. And these are all really good cards in themselves. I mean, the Four of Cups essentially on its own talks about um, not looking at what's on offer, okay, and kind of... I don't know, through a sense of boredom or through a sense of disappointment or a sense of, you know, I've, you know, I can't be bothered or... To me, this suggests... I mean, the, these four cups are all upstanding and to me, these three cups suggest 
this guy is looking at something he can't have rather than something that's on offer. So I think really this is an advice card for you guys that you need to keep, kind of keep your eye on the ball, okay? Don't sort of sink off again into that comfort zone, but keep your eyes on the opportunities that are coming in, okay? It's very easy to sort of go revert to type and to sort of consistently think about opportunities or thinking about you know things the way that we would like to see them even if there are limitations and even if we've been pressing for something for so long but it's not coming off and we're still doing it okay because it's comfortable to think like that and we don't really want to step out of that comfort zone this card again is saying to me you need to step out of that comfort zone you need to stay out of it you know you need to sort of take this other route and this is saying to me don't ignore things that are on offer through fear, through boredom, through whatever the case may be, because they potentially are really good opportunities for you. And we have the Three of Cups, and there's a lot of celebration there in those three months, a lot of celebration, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of friendship, um, a lot of laughter going on. And this is backed up with the Sun card at all, as well, sorry, where there's a lot of happiness and joy and everything's going good and the sun's shining on you and you feel you're feeling just really good about life some of you guys are within october to december because you've made a choice you've made a really good choice i think a lot of you guys will be having fun this reading really in a way for me was a difficult one to do because i could see that through the reading I think for a lot of you, uh, for some of you Aquarians during 2015, there's going to be a lot of inward thinking, you know, there's going to be a lot of kind of um, self-evaluation, okay? I think this reading is suggesting to me that through 2015, it's going to be really letting go of shackles, accepting our limitations on things and moving forward from that. It's about, for me... When I look at these cards, I'm seeing a lot of you, some of you Aquarians, um, Aquarius people sort of wanting to hold on to something that you've consistently been doing, that you know, that makes you feel comfortable. You know, this guy here in the Seven of Cups, when I look at the picture, he's kind of in the shadows. And these things here, all of these little, all of these cups on clouds are shining brighter than he is. And to me, this card suggests that you need to shine brighter than the vision, you know. You need to shine brighter than the fantasy. You need to be on that cloud, not those things. You know, you've put these things on a pedestal. You know, you've stayed in that comfort zone where these things are bigger than you are. These things are shinier than you are, but you need to shine, not these things. You need to get realistic. These things aren't real. They're choices, they're... Um, they're things that he wants, but he almost feels that he can't have them. So there they stay on the cloud, out of his reach. But in order to have them be in reach, you need to lose the shackles of the devil card and the four of pentacles. You need to cut through the illusion with the High Priestess. You need to be realistic and logical like the Queen of Swords. You need to clear your path and move forward but with hindsight, with insight at any past mistakes you've made like the King of Wands. There is a lot of celebration coming in from you guys. But I think 2015 is all about learning lessons and not being afraid to step out of a comfort zone and not being afraid to take a different route and be an adventurer and not being afraid to explore opportunities that come in for you. Because I think once you do that, there's going to be a lot of celebration there and a lot of happiness. And the card that summed up the whole of the reading was the Seven of Wands. This is courage in the face of opposition. It's uh, refusing to budge on principle. It's fighting a pointless battle. 
so I think when I look at this card and I look at the whole reading it suggests to me number one you need to budge for some of you guys if you this reading resonates with you for 2015 you need to budge you need to move okay you need to kind of face facts that potentially some of you you know you're not acknowledging that you do have some limitations there and that if something isn't working out because you've trapped yourself in an idea but there's no movement with the idea that potentially another route is good for you and you need to you know explore other routes because there's all sorts of ways that can lead to success with anything but you need to not be afraid to do that if we're looking at this reading as being a pointless battle somewhere along the line then the pointless battle would be fighting going into the real world and that we all need to go into that at some point in our lives this is a very very interesting reading I certainly think for 2015 Aquarius it will be about learning lessons and some of it is a little bit challenging for you there's nothing major here nothing major at all there's no major upheavals there's very little major um, arcana cards only the devil card and the sun card you know but the devil card offers imprisonment and the sun card offers freedom so at the beginning of the year we see you feeling slightly imprisoned slightly trapped potentially within your own thought patterns and at the end of the year we're seeing you free from that and the seven of wands really to me is saying you need to budge if you want freedom, if you want to move in your life, you need to change the way that you think and the way that you see things and the way that you do things. Because potentially for some of you guys, if this resonates with you, things may not be moving or may not have moved because of the way that you've kept things. And for some of you guys, you might have kept doing the same thing over and over and over again. And potentially you might need to move on that in order to get some movement within your life. It's a really good reading. It's it's more about learning lessons, I think, for some of you guys in 2015 more than anything else. That's the end of your reading, Aquarius. Um, I will be back with your Law of Attraction tarot readings very soon. I'm really looking forward to doing those readings. I'm really looking forward to doing them because this is all to do with what you can expect to attract in the year 2015 from the universe. So I'll speak with you soon and have a great day. Take care.